I read more than 100 books last year and it was too many, so this year I resolved to read less but be more thoughtful and discerning about what it is that I chose. So as part of that I'm reading only women in 2016, which uh, was a little bit arbitrary but a little bit not. Uh, cultivating female friendships and thinking and reading more about women has been a big theme of my young adulthood. Um, and come into terms with what it means to be a woman in the world and the workplace and America in 2016, and it's been amazing. So here are the most recent books that I have read uh, this year, all of them are by women. Yay! This is the story of a happy marriage by Anne Patchett. This was released to great acclaim uh, last year or the year before. I haven't read any of her novels, which she's most famous for, but this is a book of her journalism and essays. She supported herself uh, as a fiction writer for a long time by writing nonfiction uh, and doing, you know, travel journalism and food reviews and kind of columns for places. So I really respect that hustle. And one of her essays talks about supporting yourself as a creative person and the joy that she finds in doing so, which I spoke about earlier this week. So uh, that was a pretty good uh, kind of, you know, through line for me to find from the book. I really like her voice, I really like her observations, um, and her style is quite compact without being cold. Um, so for those reasons it was very instructive. Also just I love kind of falling into a person's mind uh, for, you know, a few days as I read through their collection of essays. Joan Didion is the same. It feels like you're having a conversation with the person. Like any conversation, you know, it kind of meanders through different subjects and takes different tones at different times. So uh, books of essays are a big kind of non-fiction, um, I don't know, not candy exactly, but comfort food for me. Inferno by Eileen Miles is not comforting. Uh, it's, it's stressful and kinetic and takes a lot of energy to read. It's her kind of memoir of her life as a queer poet in New York City, and it is incredibly incredibly good, incredibly poetic. I was like underlining every few sentences pretty much. Um, I love Eileen Miles. I've had the pleasure to hear her read a few times. Uh, I just love her work and I love her way of thinking about things. Um, not, not totally, you know, like not every single thing she does or writes do I find like immediately compelling, but I again love getting into her mind and looking at the world the way the character of Eileen Miles looks at the world in this book Inferno. The Invention of Nature by Andrea Wolf, Wolf uh, is an incredibly beautiful book, first of all. It's in like the windows of every single indie bookstore that I've seen uh, recently, but it's an amazing biography about this guy Alexander Humboldt, who basically invented the concept of nature as the title uh, would lead us to believe, sort of the first person to say, you know, we don't just study rocks or trees or animals or fish, you know, it's a it's a biosphere, it's a biome, and everything in the world is connected. I've been reading it very slowly, as I like to do uh, with these big biographies and books of nonfiction. Um, the Witches by Stacey Schiff I read in the same way, uh, where I can just parcel out, you know, just a few pages at a time, immersing myself in this, uh, you know, picture of this person or this world or this moment. And the writing is fantastic. What an interesting person. He just like hung out with Gerda a bunch. Uh, so cool and I'm really really liking it. Thank you to my brother uh, Connor for giving it to me as a Christmas present. And finally Prostitute Laundry by Charlotte Shane. This was a Kickstarter book that collected the author Charlotte Shane's email newsletter which I've been subscribed to for years. Uh, no one writes about emotions better than she does. No contemporary writer that I know of. Um, just such like a rich and self-aware inner life to read her work and read about how she discusses relationships and emotions and yes the sex work that she writes about uh, hence the title prostitute laundry is amazing to me and a really really good supplement to the kind of fact-based plot-based uh, character motivation based works that I usually read. Those are my recent reads. I haven't actually been reading that much this year because I have been creating a lot, you know, as I, as I talked about in previous videos. So that's kind of a win for me, even though I am off of, off track for my Goodreads challenge this year. Uh, I did read too much last year, so I'm counting this as a win. Let me know what you've been reading, how you've been liking it. If you need recommendations, let me know a few books that you've enjoyed recently, and I will do my best to recommend something to you, woman if I can. And uh, that's about it. See you tomorrow.